So recently, EA dropped the Winter Wildcard swaps where you can go ahead and get a load of tokens to get yourself packs, players and more. And today I thought I'd help you guys out with deciding what you should take and rank in order what I think is the best option for you guys to take from your swaps in a tier list. Let's put them in order now. Have you guys got a terrible team, no coins, and you want to buy some of the brand new players from the World Cup Team of the Tournament promo? Oh, go on, man. Well, look no further than MuleFactory.com. Go over there to get the cheapest, most safe, reliable coins and use the code NERDFIRE at the checkout for 5% off your order. Link is in the description down below. So into the tier list then, how this is going to work, we're just going to obviously drag in the swaps that you can get. I'm going to go from bottom to top, so from eighth place, in my opinion, to the top. And I've gone for combinations. So these are just like solo options. Obviously, if you didn't know, there are, I believe, eight different options you can get from this. But I've gone for the best combinations from eighth to first. They're the best ones, I think. And what I want you guys to do is let me know in the comments below what you're going to take. What are you planning on taking? And did this video change your mind? And just in case the images are too small and you don't know what is what, obviously I'll say what it is. But in case you can't see it, these are the options, obviously, you can get from the swaps. The images will be the same for the token value. So I will tell you, like I said, what is what. Anyways, that's enough of me talking. Let's get into number eight and i'll show you the eighth best option i think you can take from swaps so coming in at number eight we have got mr sandro tonali he is part of this I just think like realistically going for players isn't the best and also if we actually take a quick look at tonali's card i really don't think it's the best card going for that card three star skills four star weak for all right stats i feel like there's so much better that you can get on the market and it's literally just a waste of time obviously you don't really have to grind out these tokens too much but still i think the fodder packs at least you'll see in this video are a lot better so Jordan Tonali in number eight is the 85 plus winter wildcard player pick. I've decided to go for these two because I just think 25 tokens are spent on that. Obviously, you're gambling highly on the player pick to be good. And also, you're getting a card that I just feel like there's so many more better on the market. Probably for fairly cheap nowadays as well. Considering the FIFA market, you can get a lot of players for quite cheap. Unless Tonali obviously perfectly fits your team. Then maybe you take him. Up next again, we have got Tonali in number seven. Alongside this time, we've gone for, where is it? The 85 times 10. So at least you're getting a bit more fodder here and it's not a player pick where you're only getting one player. I think fodder packs for me, especially from this, are perfect to take. You can literally get them, save them for team of the year and you have a massive pack and a good chance of getting a blue. Coming in at number six, we've got the 85 plus with the wildcard player pick combined with the 83 times 20. Five. So these are in number six. I think obviously 83 times 25 is very good. That is one of the best ones you can get from these, I think. And the player pick is all right. It's not the best, but it's not the worst. Like I said, you are gambling a lot. Like we don't fully know what cards are even out yet. So in my opinion, not the best thing to take. But number six, I don't think it's too bad. All right, number five, Tonali returns again. We've got him in here. Sometimes it's all right if you've got spare tokens and there's nothing else better to take. You can go with Tonali. Then joining them, we've got a 384 player pick, which isn't too bad. It gives you a good chance of getting good cards, but you're only getting three players. So if you get nothing, it's kind of an L. And then finally to join them, the 83 plus times 25. Once again, you're getting an all right amount of fodder and obviously you get Tonali in there as well if you go for this. By the way, if you didn't know, all of these options are maxing out tokens so that you have to get every single token to take any of these options. On to number four then, we have got Fodder Central, 85 times 10 first of all and then we've got another 83 times 25. It's literally just straight up fodder packs, all 25 tokens. You're obviously in the 85 times 10, you're getting the higher chance of getting the bigger players. 83 times 25, you're getting more, but you probably won't get better players near the top. Not bad. I feel like it's decent to put number four. There's definitely better ones, which you're going to see in a minute, but it's not bad. An 85 times 10 is worth gambling, and 83 times 25 is also worth the gamble, especially when it comes to something like Team of the Year. So we're on to now the top three, and I think this one is the one with the most in next. So like the most things you're getting back. So we've got an 85 times 10 to kick it off for 15 tokens. Then we've got the 384 player picks for five tokens. Then we've got the 81 times 11 for three tokens. And then to end it off, the two token Trippier. Trippier for two tokens is obviously always a bargain. If you guys aren't even going to grind it out, just take a Trippier at least. And maybe the 81 times 11, get yourself five tokens. But there is four things you can get back. So 384 player picks, chance of good players. 85 times 10, you can get some big players out of that as well. Then the 81 times 11, you're probably not going to get the best players from, but you're still going to get like the 83s, the 84s for fodder. And then Trippier, who's a solid right back. And for two tokens, you can't really go wrong. Coming in at number two then for the penultimate option we have got in there three times 83 times 25 again and alongside that the three 
84 plus player picks. So you're getting your big fodder in the 83 times 75, and then also three chances at big players from player picks where you get to choose what you take. It's not bad, but it's not my first choice. You're about to see that in a second, but it's definitely an option you could consider 100%. Now on to the final one, my number one from the winter wildcard swaps. If you're going for all the tokens, this is what I would personally take. So we've got a cheeky little Kieran Trip here in there. You're going to secure him. Definitely go for him last though. Throughout all of this, take the fodder packs first and go for like the players and player picks last. Like go for the three times 85, save for that and then go for the other ones. Trust me. And after him, we've got the 81 plus times 11. So decent amount of fodder there. And then to end it off, the three 83 plus times 25 packs. That is at the top there. A lot, and I mean a lot of fodder to take. That right there is a ridiculous amount of fodder. You're getting 86 players overall, with 75 of them guaranteed to be 83 or above. So there we have it. There are my top eight options you guys should take from the winter wildcard swaps if you're going for all 25 tokens. If you want to go just for one, maybe a cheaper one, I'd go for probably the 83 times 25 by itself. If you're going to go for 20 tokens and you don't want to get the rest of the five, get that three times 83 plus times 25. But there we go. That is the first tier list video I've done in a while. I wanted to help you guys out with a load of options you could take from the winter wildcard swaps please do let me know what you think please do let me know what you think of my order of this tier list would you switch anything out what would you put at eight seven six five four even give me a whole list of top eight for you guys like i keep saying though go for the fodder packs they are the ones to take don't waste your tokens on the place at the start make sure you take the packs first get them safe even if you're getting them for team of the year make sure you have them secured and ready for when the promo drops or even a promo that is out now like the winter wildcards we're getting on friday if you didn't know we're actually getting some cards in packs so save your packs till then don't open them now and fingers crossed you guys can get some of the new players that are dropping that is what we're hoping to get from the fodder packs and let's see some team of the years packed please ea if you like this video then ea will give you a team of the year in your pack you know, trust me honestly they've told me they in my earpiece right now if you like the video Team of the Year guaranteed in one of your fodder packs from the Winter Wildcard swaps. You are a liar, a If this video has helped you out, please do smash the like button. And like I said earlier, make sure you guys let me know in the comments below what are you going to take from the swaps. Are you going to go for one of these eight options? If you do, let me know down below. But yeah, guys, anyways, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you did enjoy the video. And I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.